Merry Christmas, everybody. Peace on Earth, goodwill to us. Nice to have you here. I hope that you're planning a nice day. I hope that whatever it is you plan to eat, it's within your little boundary of what works for you, that you're happy, that you're not troughing <laughs> your way through the holiday season because there's nothing much else in life to look forward to. I so understand that. But if indeed you are doing that and you're watching me, then that's good because maybe you'll be able to pull it back in, rein it in, get back on track, weigh yourself, get the bad news out of the way, and then start anew. It's not an easy time. So no matter what you think of yourself, just the guilt, the remorse, the self-hating and loathing and all that kind of stuff, just try to be kind to yourself. Fortunately, we are human. Fortunately, we are those that fail. And, and in a way, that makes it easier to accept. No one among us is perfect. And I'm right there in that line of imperfect beings. And there's comfort in that. You know, sometimes it seems like, well, it's just food. What's the big deal? And then other times it is food. And will I ever pull it together like I used to? Yes, you will and you can. Is it easy? No. You might have some white knuckling if you're trying to pull it together and back to that sweet spot of when things were working better for you, head-wise, body-wise, scale-wise, pants-wise, all the ways, that, all the whys. <laughs> and you will get more whys from grasping on to those things, holding on, not going down one more rung of the ladder to get back in where you were. And this is the place to do it. You know, we're older. Most of us here, we're older. Our metabolisms have been through a lot. They probably got to keto, got, mm, pun intended, to keto and said, wow, this is wonderful. No looking back. And then along came, yeah, just a pandemic and just a holiday season with so many restrictions. It's like, why are we even going through it? I will tell you the last month of traffic with people shopping. Is the mall the new um, super spreader? I can't see how it isn't, right? And so, you know, we need to avoid that. We can't do this. I, it's almost funny. It's like, it's like, you know, you pick up your phone to make a phone call. And it's like, can I catch COVID from making a phone call? It, it, you just get kind of wacky, wacky, and it's understandable. You know, I have moments in the store with, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? Why am I, why am I putting myself out here for the other people? Well, it's funny because they were doing a, if you're over 65, what you have to do, and one of the things they said was, um, have a delivery service, deliver your groceries and your medication. And I'm kind of chuckling. And I don't know if any of you saw Inside Edition where the elderly man was just like leaning on the wall as he took each step. And I guess he had a, a leak in his roof and he needed to replace it. So he started doing, you know, deliveries and his body just wasn't there anymore. And <laughs> I said to Greg, that's me with the last trip of shopping that I do every day. I start around seven, that's when Instacart orders come in, and I'm done usually by noon. And, you know, so it's it's five hours. Yes, I do it seven days a week because my body doesn't say, oh, Sunday, kick back. Mm -mm. I, don't, I don't know how to kick back. So I have this energy pie, as it were, and, you know, each slice is my day at 
work doing what I do. And I do love it. And I do feel like I'm providing a good service and the side benefits are, it keeps me active and bending and twisting and lifting and carrying, which is my form of, you know, exercise. So for, you know, five hours I'm plugged in, although for the month of December, it's been a lot of traffic. So I'm sitting in my vehicle like I was in the summer and you know, no, you don't make money sitting in the vehicle. You have to shop and deliver. <laughs> so anyway, it, it is what it is. No complaints. A day that I can wake up and thank my higher power, who I call God, for another nice day of health and being able to get out there and, you know, deal with customers most are fine and ever grateful, you know, every now and then there's one of those apples that I should have done the whole turn. It's got some rotten in it, kind of hard to avoid because when you accept doing an Instacart trip, you don't know where you're going for the most part. And um, sometimes you can get a snarky one. I don't like snarky ones. I like people that appreciate the service and you know, my time and effort that I invest in them, getting them products as if I'm buying them for myself. So we do what we do. Um, I think that all of us should buy Nestle stock for their morsels. They don't make other things that are that good for us, but wow, everybody seems to be making things with Nestle's morsels this season. <laughs> Hope that's not a trigger, but you know, Merry Christmas, and it's a time to take stock of yourself. If you're not taking care of yourself, I doubt anybody else is either, right? There's a whole lot of self-responsibility that comes with reining in and staying on our food plan with the strictness, the discipline, the structure, and the willing to be willing. And the willing to be willing is... When those three things feel wonky and you have to remind yourself, that's right, it's not just for today. Although what I do is just for today. If I did what I had to do yesterday just for today, then heading into today, I've got a base of things that worked out okay yesterday. And that makes me motivated to do once again, my day, just as it is. I don't know if any of you have switched to clean fasting since watching me and then watching the people that I watch um, and just, you know, reporting back here with the clean fasting, meaning black coffee. And sometimes I'll get a nice post from somebody that says, I never thought I could have black coffee, but I am now. And what a difference it's making in the scale, the genes, my attitude, the food plan, the OMAD, and or I was too mad. I just could not get to that OMAD and I'm doing it and I'm doing it a day at a time. There, there should be parades for us. <laughs> there should be. Those things are tough. And, you know, especially if you're getting to the place where you've got 10, 15 pounds to go, You've had 10 or 15 pounds to go with the four years that you've been doing keto since it became the big trending thing that it is. And yes, you know, it's getting to the clean fasting, getting to the OMAD is, is, is the big deal. You know, it's that final hurdle as you're, you're heading along that, oomph, that thing that you needed to get you to the you know, we've tried reducing our calories. We've tried lowering the carbs. We've tried all that type of stuff. And after you've tried all that type of stuff and you still have those sniggly pounds to lose, I'm telling you, the game changer for me was the clean intermittent fasting and the OMAD. I was doing fasting and I was doing OMAD, but it wasn't clean intermittent fasting. It wasn't black coffee. I was still having loaded coffees a few times a day. The OMAD was good. That part was good, but it was the fasting part, you know, the chewing gum, the flavored soda water, the flavored coffees, the putting things in the coffee, 
all those things deterred that just dealing with the niggly part. And so I'm happy to report. And, and I just, you know, I, I, I'm on here like a broken record. Remember records? We can because we're older. And, you know, it, it, it's like I heard it and didn't pay attention until I said, well, I got to try it. I had done keto and low carb, high fat for a number of years, tried the carnivore, felt as sick as I looked at my face in my videos, said, I just, it wasn't working for me. I missed here and here veggies. You know, they're just, I love my veggies. I love my squashes. I love my potato every now and then. And I even have a treat every now and then. It's contained in that unit. I don't keep my, my window doesn't go floor to ceiling. When it's open, it's like I got hours and hours to feed it. I don't do it that way. It, the, the part that I get from Eat Like a Bear, which is Amanda Rose PhD, is that I continuously do my feeding, my eating, my open window until I'm done. I don't like, you know, have an open window from noon to six and at noon I have, you know, one meal and at three I have a snack and at six I finish it up. I don't do it that way. It's like that, you know, the O could be one, one hour, right? But it's, you know, one meal a day. That's just me sharing what I'm doing and what works. So, you know, if you're if you're at a place now where you've had <laughs> every day's a messy Monday, don't we know what those are this time of year? And, you know, people are doing more baking and probably more, you know, leaving gifts on somebody's doorstep of a bread or a bar or a cookie or something like that. Excuse me, and they've done that for you and you've got all this stuff in the house, you know, it's like you can eat through it until you're totally disgusted with yourself. I, hello, I'm human. Or, you know, you can you can toss it out now and put hideous things like coffee grounds and, you know, rotted fruit or rotted veggies that are all wet on top of the stuff as you toss it out. You can have a, this is it. It's a clean slate. Who knows? You know, when, when the student is ready, the teacher appears, the chronometer comes back out, the scale, you're honest with your bathroom scale, you're honest with your kitchen scale, with what you're having, and you plug back in and you know that motivation. Like in three or four or five days, you're going to be so plugged in to like doing it with the strictness, the structure, the discipline, the making it work. And you feel great. You've got more energy than you ever thought you'd have. The, the sugar is slowly, you know, leaving your body. And you're just feeling so darn good and clean. And, and you can do that every day. That's the gift. It's like, wow, I can feel this good every day. Uh-huh. You can. So try, try things that are different. Don't just listen, you know have your coffee and go get ready for whatever your day is supposed to bring you. Switch it up just a little, ease into it if you have to, or just go full, take that full dive. You know, your, your feet are locked, your hands are like this and you're jumping off the cliff. I'm telling you, you know that feeling of motivation. You can get it back again. You can, you can. We like retreaded tires because they've got the story. They've got the experience. They know how to plug back in and just do it. Just do it. Thank you so much for watching. Wasn't this fun? You can have that motivation back. Thanks for watching. We'll see you the next time. And Merry Christmas. Bye-bye for now.